Is there a theology of pilgrimage? You might think of pilgrimages as something medieval like Canterbury Tales, but if you go all the way back to the book of Genesis, you find Abram, who later becomes Abraham, and he is a pilgrim of faith. God calls him out of Ur, out of the Babylonians, and promises something greater. And he doesn't even know what that is, but by faith, he travels and he walks and he walks and he walks. We see that also with his grandson, Jacob, who's also a pilgrim, who's traveling by faith. And there's this great moment in which he falls asleep and in his sleep, he sees Jacob's ladder or Jacob's stairwell, where angels are ascending and descending from heaven to that place. And when he wakes up, he marks that spot. There's actually a rock that he's been sleeping on like a pillow. He anoints that rock like an altar and says, this is Bethel the house of God. And he commemorates that as a pilgrimage site. As we move into Exodus and Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, we see that Moses institutes three pilgrimages. There's the pilgrimage of Passover, the pilgrimage of Pentecost, and the pilgrimage of Tabernacles. And all Jewish males had to go to the Tabernacle, to Jerusalem, for these three pilgrimages. And we see in the New Testament that Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, being faithful to the law of Moses, are making that trek, that quest to Jerusalem to worship. And it's a travel that requires money, time, sacrifice, and hardship. And that's what Jesus is doing with his mother, Mary, and his guardian, Joseph. And so I wanna do a three-part series on the theology of pilgrimage and I'm going to focus on my recent experience on the Camino de Santiago, the pilgrimage way across the north of Spain to the tomb and relics of St. James. And it's interesting because James, the name James in Greek and in Latin is Jacobus, or in Greek, Jacobos. And it comes from the Hebrew, Yaakov. So St. James the Apostle, there's two of them. There's St. James the Greater and St. James the Lesser. But the name James is a Hebrew name, Yaakov, Jacob. And so this whole idea of pilgrimage in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, with the grandson of Abraham, Yaakov, Jacob, and Jacob's ladder, comes all the way full circle in the New Testament with this great apostle, James, Yaakov, same name in the Greek and in the Hebrew, who travels all the way to Spain to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're gonna look at how James fulfills a prophecy from the very last chapter of Isaiah. In these videos, you'll see that the first video is green, the second video is yellow, and the third is red. That's to keep track of the order. So, and in this next one, we'll talk about the theology and the history of St. James in Spain and its fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy. Thanks for watching and God bless.